Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how I laminate my brows. Everyone's been requesting this over my Instagram since I posted a photo of my laminated brows which I done myself at home. That was actually quite a few months ago now. I haven't laminated my brows at home since. Um, I've just been doing the glue brow trick on a daily. Um, but yeah, I wanted to show you how I laminate them at home today because that's what you guys want to see. So first things first boys and girls, we're going to have to excuse the appearance today, I know. Um, I haven't got any makeup on. I've just tinted my brows, just so you know before um, I begin this video. I have actually got a brow tinted tutorial somewhere on my channel, um, but I didn't wanna include that today. I just wanted to focus on the lamination itself. So yeah, I'm pretty much bare faced today, guys. When you are doing a lamination at home, you wanna make sure you're not wearing any makeup. Um, so yeah, also I just wanted to quickly put it out there that I am in no way qualified to do brow lamination. Um, this is something that you do at your own risk at home. So um, make sure you take all the precautions needed. Make sure you do a patch test on yourself first prior to doing any sort of treatment on yourself at home. But I am qualified in the booty aspect of things. So I am confident in doing this myself at home. If you are less confident, then I would suggest going to a professional, obviously when you can. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to show you guys how I do them myself at home because everyone's been asking. So this is the kit that I have got. I got this off Amazon and it's the Iconic Sign Lash Lifting Kit. So this is obviously for lifting your lashes but you can use this on your eyebrows as well. If you are doing this at home then you will need to do a patch test guys. It is so so important. Make sure you get your patch test done first. Just pop a little bit of the product behind your ear. Um, just to make sure you aren't allergic to anything because that could go very wrong. So yeah, make sure you do a patch test first. This is the lash glue and then you have the permanent lotion, the fixation, nutrition, cleanser and the cleaning tools and pads there on that side. So yeah, you do get quite a lot for the price. This was about £20, I think, on Amazon. If you do want to go ahead and purchase this kit, I'll link it down below for you guys. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say on the product itself. Oh, it is cruelty-free as well, I did check. But yeah, let's get straight into the tutorial, guys. That's what you're all here for, and I will ramble all day otherwise. <laughs> the kit also comes with a pack of spoolies as well, guys, which is so handy. This is going to be a much more affordable way of laminating your brows. Um... I hope because this kit is £20. Um, I believe lamination is like £30 to £40 um, each time, whereas you've got this kit which will probably last you a good few years. So, saving you them pennies, guys. So, like I said, guys, this kit is for your eyelashes. So, you could actually use this on your lashes as well. Um, I don't bother doing anything to my lashes really, other than applying some mascara and using false lashes. So, so the first thing I'm going to do is take the number four cleanser, which looks like this. So yeah, I'm just popping that cleanser through my brows with the biodegradable cotton bud. Um, just to make sure they're all nice and cleansed before we start the lamination process. So as you can see, I did actually have some tint product left over. Um, so yeah, you want to make sure you cleanse the brows first. So we've got a nice clean base. As you can see guys, my brows are quite sparse, probably from over plucking them back in the day. They are growing back ever so slightly, but I just find that this lamination process makes them look so much fuller and just better. You wake up with actual brows on your face every day, which is amazing. Um, something that I usually don't have, um, and my brows are so fair naturally as well, so I've got to tint them a black shade quite often. But yeah, let's start this process. So step one of the lamination process is applying the false lash glue. So you could probably totally use just your own lash glue for this. Um, you probably don't need this one, but this is just so much stronger than your average lash glue. So, so I'm actually gonna take this in sections. So I'm just applying a little bit of glue to a section of my brow then combing it up into place. So just make sure you're really sectioning those hairs 
and brushing them upwards. I'm also going to use a wooden spoolie, so kind of like a spatula, and I'm going to press them into place. Like that. I'm going to speed you through this bit guys, but yeah, I'm pretty much just doing the same thing over and over again um, in sections. So you can already see the difference guys, this one is so much fluffier than this one. Um, so I'm going to complete the same steps on this side. I'm going to go in with the opposite end of that cotton bud and I'm going to start applying the Permin Lotion which is this little guy. I'm just going to pop this on with, like I said, the opposite end of my cotton bud. I'm applying quite a lot of this stuff guys. So I'm really going from the root you want to try and catch the root of the brow just so that they last a little bit longer um this stuff absolutely stinks guys just to warn you it's disgusting i'm just going to apply some cling film to set them in place and once they are in place like so i'm gonna set my timer on my phone for 10 minutes and you don't want to leave them any longer than that because your eyebrows will burn off guys just be aware of that i know i look all types of crazy right now guys um but yeah this is the lamination process so as you would laminate a piece of paper this is the same thing we'll laminate in our brows i'm gonna wait 10 minutes till that timer goes off and then i will be back okay guys so it's now been 10 minutes so i'm just gonna remove the cling film they look like they've gone a different color they always do that for some reason i don't know why um so yeah i'm just going back in with the wooden spoolie and i'm pressing out all of the uh permanent solution you want to make sure there's little to no product left on your brow hairs okay so next step is the fixation process so this one here combing this through each strand of hair
Okay, so I'm just gonna stick some more cling film to my brows. So I'm just gonna set my timer for a further 10 minutes, guys, and then I will be back. Okay, guys, so it's been another 10 minutes, so I'm just taking off the cling film again. So yeah, at this stage I'm going back in with the number four cleanser and I'm just gonna take this through the brows just to wipe off any excess glue or perming lotion. So once we've got all that residue off, you can see it's built up on like my forehead here. So I'm just gonna wipe that away, being careful not to touch the actual brows. Like that. Underneath the brows as well. Just cleaning up, like I said, any of that residue or leftover product. Okay, and then I'm going back in with the little wooden spoolie and I'm just gonna press the hairs. So basically what I'm doing here is trying to get rid of any excess glue. See, I've had quite a bit off there. Do the same on this side. And then I'm just going to comb those through once more. Obviously these are going to look so much better when I apply some product to them. Um, because my hairs, like I said, are so fair. Uh, but when I do apply the product, they look so much better. And they literally stay fluffy like this for weeks. Actually going to go in with step number three, which is the nutrition. Okay, and I'm just going to dip my spoolie, this spoolie, in the nutrition oil. This is going to help nourish the brows. So, yeah, you could totally use, if you haven't got this kit, you could totally use like a coconut oil for this. Um, that will work just as well. Just combing that oil through. I've applied quite a lot. But that's okay, I'm gonna clean it up in a second. I'm just gonna go and remove that oil there. Nobody wants an oily forehead. Once I've got all the oil off my skin, I just go in once more with my spoolie, brush those hairs straight up, like so, and then I just drag the brush in the shape and direction I want these brow hairs to go. So you want to leave these without any product in for around 24 hours. Try not to get them wet um, when you're washing your face. Obviously use a flannel and avoid the eyebrow area. Once the 24 hours are up, you can literally do whatever you want to your brows. They will be sort of permed into place. Uh, so they'll be a lot more firm and solid. So don't let that worry you. When I do have laminated brows, I literally just use eyeshadow. So I go in with a tiny bit of eyeshadow and just comb it through the brows and it works so well for me and it's so much easier than having to use like a pomade so yeah so I'm gonna leave these for 24 hours and then I'll come back on tomorrow to show you what they look like with some product in obviously it'll be two seconds for you guys but 24 hours for me so see you in a second hi guys I'm back it's 24 hours later and I have a full face of makeup on and I just wanted to show you what they look like with um, some product in them. 
I may actually do a tutorial this week on how I fill them in. Um, so I'll do that in a separate video, so keep your eyes peeled for that. But yeah, this is what they look like, all laminated, and I've literally applied the tiniest amount of eyeshadow to them. Yeah, I really, really love the effect that the lamination gives. I love how they just hold in this position for weeks. Um, I don't ever usually go for like the full on bushy brow. I still like them to look quite precise, but obviously laminated and a little fluffier. So yeah, really hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. It helps me out so much and subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already. Also go check out my Instagram and TikTok and yeah, I'll see you all in my next video guys. Bye.